we have so much to offer as far as Southern Soul dishes and everything that we prepare is started out with love and it's finished with love. Cheryl Thompson and her family are proud to carry on their family's legacy of soul food with recipes passed down generation after generation here at Mrs. Kitchen. And yes, that's a real person. Cheryl's grandmother. It is really her name too. That was her name. She married Mr. Kitchen. Mrs. Kitchen had one daughter, our mother, Mrs. McPherson. And at the end of the day, my mother had six of us. So there's six grandchildren. She has four grandsons and two granddaughters. And I'm the second to the oldest. And we walked, uh, grew up watching her make delicious meals for us. And that's what they taught us. When they taught us how to cook, they didn't measure. And they said, just sit down, shut up, and pay attention. <laughs> and I did. It all began with my brother Garland McPherson and this was like probably the late 90s and he goes sister I saw you in my dreams will you help me open a restaurant and I looked at him and I go yeah boy but you're gonna have to pay attention because they didn't teach me how to measure anything but nothing happened until 2011 he actually had got it to the point where we would be able to open over on the east side a nice little cozy little restaurant. Their first Mrs. Kitchen restaurant was only 1,500 square feet. The new location here in Windcrest, over 15,000 square feet. And her brother is known for his soul food as Chef LA. And I believe he tr truly does have a love affair with food. So we're, we're definitely glad that we're being a blessing. So, so we're, we're thrilled. So he's able to teach others how to make our wonderful recipes because it's all about consistency. We want to make sure that it's right and that's what he stands for. And if you've ever wondered the meaning behind soul food, it stems from the heart, not a cookbook. But the main ingredients is love, and that's what we were taught when we were coming up and learning how to cook from our ancestors. Everything they did, they did big, and they also started with love, and they were very passionate about what they were doing, so I believe that we were blessed with the same gifts that they gave us to be able to cook and make delicious meals just by, you know, tasting and a little here, a little there. There's no measuring. It's just, you know, straight cooking and being passionate because it's from our soul that we're cooking from. Inside Mrs. Kitchen, you'll notice a cafeteria style setup. So you're using your sight and smell as a menu with some of the friendliest staff in town. I went with the smothered pork chops, macaroni, red beans, sausage and rice, a peach cobbler and the cornbread biscuit. Yep. It makes me feel real good because I hear it all day when people are here enjoying themselves and having a good time with their family. I always listen to what it sounds like and I hear a lot of laughter, a lot of joy, a lot of fun. I hear them talking about the recipes and how delicious it is and that makes me very happy. From fried catfish to smothered fried chicken, cornbread, peach cobbler and all the fixings too, it's more than mouthwatering food. It's memories living on through this menu. The recipes are still here. They can get a taste of what we grew up with and it's just a beautiful feeling to know that they enjoy it as well and not, and not letting their memory die. The memory will live on forever because at the end of the day, Mrs. Kitchen's name is famous. For Reze Live, I'm Jen Tobias Chesky.